Yeah, what should I be next to Martin Luther King? I believe in that. I believe, I believe in that too. I'm trying to change like everything. Like in a good way. Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Road Trip. In today's episode, I'm meeting up with one of the funniest rappers I know coming all the way from Parkway Gardens. You guessed it, I'm in view in Shebox today. He's invited me down to O-Block because there's a community basketball tournament game going on for the kids and he's also doing a lot of community work and he's also dropping an album very soon so there's so much to talk about. And yeah, you guys are coming with me and make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe. Let's go. Gonna take you for a ride in my brand new car. My brand new car. Gonna take you for a ride in my brand new car. What is your name and where are you from? Um, my name is Shoebox Baby. I'm from Parkway Gardens, better known as Oak Block, Chicago, Illinois, Southside. And how would you describe your relationship with Oak Block? It's my heart. Like the neighborhood, it's like it's like where I found myself at. Like like this place helped me find myself. It helped me like it helped me. I, I appreciate the struggle, man. Because it's like when you get the rewards, the struggle, like your whole little uh, experience, the whole journey just feels so like like man, I really went to that to get to this. So like I appreciate that. When did you realize that you could rap? <laughs> Uh, when I was a, when I was a kid though, like five, six, around that age, I used to know how to freestyle and stuff. Like I knew how to rap back then, real good. Like I used to do ton of shows in my school, but I stopped doing it because I felt like I was the only person doing it, and I wanted to do what my friends were doing. My friends was playing basketball and football and shit, so I just started getting into sports. But then, like I felt the passion for it, like two years ago. What's the misconception people have of you and the O Block? Um, that I promote, that I'm promoting violence, and that's that this place is nothing but violence. Alright, so um, we get ready for the dope tournament and the kids championship game today, and hopefully. My team that I'm coaching for a dope team wins, and hopefully Coach E team win for the kids. So let's see what we can do. Twenty seconds. Tied up. Tied up. Twenty seconds. We having a um, tournament, my team, the bad boys, we just took home a victory, you know what I'm saying? My little shorty, I don't know where he went, he had 21, he's the MVP. Hopefully we get us a ring tomorrow, you know? In the trenches with the tournament, that's how we got it going on. So all my people out here, we had food early, all of gone. We good. The referees, mm, but tomorrow we gonna have real refs, so we good to go tomorrow. How often do you do these tournaments? Uh, this is this the first one. We don't do these that often, but we, we gonna start, though. This is the first one, though. Okay. So we, we probably do another one next year. Okay. But it's good. It's, it's fun right now, for the most part. We got real skull keepers. We got real skull keepers. This is one of the players that's going Say to the that championship. I'm he a ain't champion. my player, but you ain't no champion yet, bro. You're a contender. We champions, baby, because we gonna take on the ring tomorrow. Nah. Nah. You see this thing? Nah. They suck. Nah. We dusty I'm all dusting out. you off. Yeah, you you a little boy to me. Boy, we dusty yeah. out. You gonna be a little boy to me. What was it like working with Didi Osama? Um, Didi Osama. It was a fun. It was. A, it was fun. That's my little brother. So it's like we gave that. We gave that relationship. Like we met through people. And then like we got that own little bond to like what we was comfortable enough to be around each other. And that's how we came about with the music. So it was a fun experience. I learned a lot from him, even though he's younger, younger than me. I learned a lot from him, though. He brought me out at the United Center. That's that's the our arena in Chicago. So that's that place hold like probably like 51,000 people. And he brought me out at a sold out show. So he helped me overcome my fears because I get scared performing. I don't really like performing. Like I had to turn down a lot of shows here today because like I, I got stage fright. So I appreciate that. I appreciate that from him. What states do you like best? States, I like Florida. 
Okay, we're going to say cities. Okay. Um, I like Miami. I love New, uh, New, um, New Orleans. Yep. Miami, New Orleans, Atlanta, L.A., Chicago. Man, it's like, I ain't going to lie. The place, like this place I come from, it'll make you appreciate anywhere you go. Mm-hmm. Like, I got people who still haven't, like, seen outside this place. Like, my mama, she never been out of Chicago. So I gotta, I gotta change that this year. I gotta take her, to, take her so out the country. I'm getting a passport and stuff. But like my mom, my mom, she's 37 and she's never been out of Chicago. All right. So what's your name? Uh, Joshua. And what are you doing today? Huh? What are you been doing today? Playing, playing basketball, trying to win this. Today was good. Um, we played yesterday. I played. We won. And then today, I guess we won again. Amazing. Yeah. Um, I had 15 points. maturing and becoming a man and like like when I stopped when I learned how to outgrow and pouting about looking out for people and take care of people and um, how would you describe your life now mm, busy unexpected What's the word? fast follow my footsteps or take after me but like my concept is not to lead people it's to lead myself and be an example so if people gravitate to that that's good but like I'm ready to like better myself because I know if I better myself and I put myself up there as a trophy everybody around it is going to gravitate on the bad zone but you got the choice you have a choice, you can follow it or you can't. But it's your choice.
out and all, you know, the boys rough me up, but we still got the job done, you know? What's your name? Antoine. Okay. How you feeling today? Good, tired. Good to win. We're tired. Do you got any words of motivation for my followers? Don't give up. Follow your dreams. Um, stay in school, stay positive, stay out the streets, you know what I'm saying? Just live your life. Be smart. Just push forward, you know? Keep going, shit like that. You can't get a trenches, you know how that shit go when it comes to super shit, man. We came together as a team through all the adversity. And shit, we overcame it all. Simple as that. I feel great. We, we, we got a victory, you know what I'm saying? No matter what went on with the early, I lost with, my, with the young boys, but I got me a ring with the big ass. Okay. So, huh? I already know your name, but what's your name for my followers? Wap. Okay. Wap from the O. Okay. So, do you have any words of motivation for my followers? Uh, keep doing what you're doing. Never give up on your dream. And continue being great. Um, so, we interviewed everybody already that was on the winning team, and they did good. They gave y'all some words of motivation. If you want to play football, basketball, well, that's for any sport. Keep doing what you're doing. And what are you currently working on at the minute? Um, a project called Make O Block Great Again. It's going to be 10 songs, 4 features. Tell us any features on that? Um, Rob 49, Lil Double O, Free Lil Double O, YTV Fat, and DDO Summer. Lastly, if there's one thing that you could change about Chicago, what would it be? If there's one thing I could change about Chicago, it'll be the, the inner city mindset. Like, I, I don't like, like, how people in Chicago Feel, feel fine with just satisfying themselves with the Chicago. Like, if that makes sense. Like, for instance, like, I don't like how the rappers in Chicago, like, up and coming artists, I feel like they be, they be satisfied with being well known through Chicago or liked in Chicago or talked about with their Chicago. When Chicago is really just such a little part of the world. So I wish, like, we could expand our mindset to and is there anything else that you want to say? Um, go tune in to the album, Make O Block Great Again. We're going up. <laughs> Hi guys, so following up from yesterday, Pastor Brooks has invited me down to the community centre which he is building, which is like up the road from Parkway Gardens and I'm really excited to go because I've seen the amazing work that he's been doing and I believe Shoebox and DQ are there also so they can tell me a bit about the involvement with the community centre and yeah, it's going to be very good vibes and you guys are coming with me, so let's go. So my name is Pastor Corey Brooks and I'm on the south side of Chicago on a block called popularly O Block. Right, okay, and what is it that you're doing here today? So today we're really excited because um, this block was notoriously known for a lot of gang banging, a lot of criminal activity, um, but we're changing the environment. So one of the things that we're doing is we're building a opportunity center, uh, a leadership economic and opportunity center um, that hopefully will help to transform the community, give individuals a lot of chances to get training for different jobs, and uh, so it's going to be a, a 90,000 square foot facility um, that the community can use. Amazing. And can anyone come here? Absolutely. So that's the thing about it. We're building this so that anybody can come, uh, especially people who live on the south side, especially people who live uh, on Opportunity Block, O Block, uh, <laughs> to, uh, you know, it, it's, it's about the community and that's what this center is all about. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. When is this going to be built roughly, do you know? So it's going to be, this center is going to be built, uh, it's going to take us 18 months. So you got to come back and you got to see all the wonderful things that's being done. Uh, so it's been a lot of hard work to go into it. So it's going to take a little time to get it finished. And how can people get involved if they want to come and help? So if they want to come and help, they can go to projecthood.com. Uh, and they can find out on the website projecthood.org that's h-o-o-d.org or they can do like you always welcome to come down to the south side on O Block we love everybody yeah, yeah man we right here Project Hood man getting the community set together for the, for the younger for the younger youth in, the, in, the, in our community you know really all over Chicago 
Yeah. And plus, I, I, I did my I did my girl Khadija wrong. I probably been <laughs> like that with her. Um, bro, I said that a couple times. I got some little shit going on, but yeah, we're gonna make it happen, though. And uh, what are these guys doing here? Uh, really just. Right here, work. They they really work. You see, guys. You see, they really getting it together. We finna get it together. Really, should be ready for for a little, little, little minute. And gonna be done though. Did you have a community center growing up when you was? Nah, that's why I'm really like dedicated to trying to yes, trying to. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm volunteering really to help out with this because when I was in, yeah. we ain't really have a lot of stuff like that. Yeah. We did, but it wasn't really like no like you know like what they finna build right now. It was just like some like simple stuff, but we were still doing little stuff in the streets and how we was living. But yeah, this finna change for the for the younger generation for sure. <laughs> you are so unserious. Hi. All, right. All right, so where are we? Um, we're at the site of the biggest first community center in Woolong. Mm -hmm. And how are you involved? State of the art. Okay. And how are you involved in this um, I mean, it's me. Like, I'm involved. Involved. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, let me stop playing because it's just so funny. I, Is it the accent? That's throwing you off. No, it's just the camera. Like, okay, go ahead. I'll be doing that when I'm in front of the camera. I just play all day. It's good. All uh, right, so <laughs> ask the question again. As I said, how are you involved in this project? Okay, um, Pastor Corey Brooks, that's my mentor. He helped me start my own nonprofit organization. So right now, I'm just like shadowing him, like through this whole process of making this community center and like. I've just been with him every step of the way from him raising the money to him meeting the donors to him coming out with the blueprint. It's just like, really, I'm just like fully involved in it. And how do you think this will change? It's gonna change a lot because it's something that like the kids through this whole neighborhood, like all through it, we don't have this. Like you don't have this type of, when I grew up, we didn't have this. We had a community center in the projects, but it was like, it was Miss Maddox, shout out Officer Maddox, cause she did her, her best by herself. Yeah, for sure. But it wasn't that much like for us to do. She could only do what she could. What she could yeah. But like yeah. this, this a game changer, cause it's like, it give kids a safe haven for after school, summertime, spring breaks where they ain't gotta be bored outside just trying to figure something to do. And that involves with trouble, cause that's how we was growing up. 